All right, I'm going to continue working on the face today. I was expecting somebody to come in and uh, with a replacement for my uh, water heater. My thermostat is broken. And uh, water gets up to about 170 degrees, which is a little warm. <laughs> anyway, he was said he was going to bring it in today but he hasn't been here yet and it's getting late in the afternoon and uh, I kind of doubt he's going to get here today so he may be here tomorrow and if he does it's going to be noisy in my studio because the water heater is right next door right on the other side of that wall to my right so just giving you a warning also at some point this week or next week, I'm going to have to go over to the uh, molds and go through and try to find all the molds for one of my bronzes that uh, I may be ordering. And then I got to take a trip to uh, Livingston, Montana to deliver it to the foundry. So I may be busy, maybe not this week, but uh, certainly next week. On that. Time to play with some play. Now, I'm not going to show you everything I'm doing here because like I said yesterday and the day before and the day before that it's all on my instructional videos on creating a horse and a horse's head but I'm going to show you as much as I think I can get away without giving away the farm so to speak you just got to start building up uh, the structure of the face I'm taking my time to do the face of the horse. I'm doing it very slowly and very deliberately because the face of the horse will make or break this bronze or clay that will be a bronze. Since the horse is standing and not running or exerting a lot of strength, he's more rest at rest. His nostrils would be at rest too.
Oh man, this is a mental drain, is what it is. with diagrams of the muscles of the face of the horse and with actual photographs you have to learn to interpret what you see and determine what causes that bulge in his face or that line in his face and once you, you do that and it's a constant learning process you don't do it overnight. I'm going to have to uh, put a bridle on this guy, and I just got to figure out what the bridle would be. Now, it would be more likely a hackamore type of bridle. But I'm going to do some research on that tonight and see what I come up with. I want to get the bridle on before I put the uh, head back on the horse. It just makes it a lot easier while it's here in my uh, hand or in this position. It would be a lot harder once I put the head back on. I'm happy with it. Now it's turning out. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do today is put a little Ronsonol on the uh, face of the horse to take down some of the uh, rough areas.
All right, I'll pick this up tomorrow or the next time. Don't know if it'll be tomorrow yet. Well, tomorrow's Friday, isn't it? Well, I'll try to be down here tomorrow. And I'll work on the eyes after I get a little more detailing done in the uh, face. I'm just going to let this sit with my head overnight. And we'll see how I look tomorrow at it. I'm pretty happy the way it's turned out. All right, everybody. Good night. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.